Assalamualaikum. So today we're going to learn how to conducting chi-square test using SPSS software. So this is our learning objective. First, we're going to learn what is the purpose of the chi-square test. Secondly, we're going to know what is the question we could answer using chi-square test. After that, we're going to learn how to setting up our SPSS statistic data file and we're going to learn how to analyze our data and some assumption underlying the chi-square test and lastly how to write our result and how to tabulate it using the APA style so the purpose of the chi-square test basically this test is done most commonly to assess whether two categorical variables are related However, this test as it can be done if you wanted to see more than two group of categorical variables. In this example, the researcher wanted to see the association between autoresia nervosa and concerns about health and eating. Here we can see the autoresia nervosa has been divided into three groups based on scores that have been calculated. And then they wanted to see whether there is an association between the health concern between the bottom to tile, middle the tile and upper the tile. So here they use a chi-square test. Okay. So for the example for today's video, we're going to see whether there's a relationship between gender and hypertensive status. So this question is essentially asking whether gender have an influence to one hypertensive diagnosis. Here gender is the depend independent variable whereby the hypertensive status is our dependent variable. So now how are we going to setting up FPSS statistic data file? So under the variable view we need to enter our variable here we can see our variable are gender and hypertensive gender has been put onto the first row and HPT or hypertensive status we put under the second row since the gender and hypertensive status are categorical variable, so therefore we need to label it under the values. So click the values for both gender and hypertensive status. Here we can use the values 1 and 2, two so that indicate which group each case belong to. And then after you finish, click OK. So under the data view, we can see type and uh, you can see your data. In the data view, basically you can type in your data file. So you need to work in rows where each row represents a case. For example here, Participant 1 is male and was reported as non-hypertension. So, 
In order for us to analyze the chi-square, we need to consider some assumption. The first assumption, the scale, our scale of measurement, means that our independent variable and dependent variable should be either nominal or ordinal scale. For the second assumption, is independence. Each participant should participate only once in the research and should not influence the participation of others. Lastly, our expected frequency or expected count in a two times two design, all expected frequencies should be at least five. However, in a larger design, no more than 20% of the expected cell frequencies should be lower than 5. The following criteria should be met before conducting a chi-square test. Assumptions 1 and 2 are methodological and should have been addressed before and during data collection, whereby assumption 3 can be tested by using SPSS statistics. So now we're going to analyze our data. So how to analyze it? Go to analyze, click descriptive, and click cross tab. Remember, chi square test for dependent. Sorry, chi square test for uh, Pearson chi square. I mean the Pearson chi square test for measure of association is put under the descriptive statistic under the cross tabs. So after clicking the cross tab, new dialog box will appear. So here, bring the your independent variable into the row. Here is gender and your dependent variable into column. Have tension or not. So that with statistics and Please take chi square. Then click continue and click cells. Under the cells display, please take observe expected and expected count. And not forget to take the row percentages. Click continue and OK. So here is the table that you obtain from the up SPSM output. Within this 2 times 2 cross tabulation metric, there are 4 cells. Each cell describes a particular group of cases. So under the chi square test, you can see under the table, we can see the zero cell has expected count less than 5. The minimum expected count is 12.55. Therefore, we need to read the Pearson chi square test. Here, the Pearson chi square test is not statistically significant. Means that it's unlikely that we would observe that hypertension status is different between male and female participants. So, here is how to write the chi square result using the epic style. The Pearson chi square test was used to evaluate whether the gender is related to or not with hypertension status. The chi square test was not statistically significant. Therefore, we conclude as gender was not different among those diagnosed as hypertension status. So here is how we're going to tabulate your finding. And that's it. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.